Hey everyone! Today we'll open the Acer Nitro V15, model ANV15-52. You can find the full lab tests, thermals, display measurements, battery life, and more on laptopmedia.com. The link is below the video. Let's get started. To access the hardware, remove 11 screws, then we'll be able to lift off the bottom panel. Use a JIS number one screwdriver for a snug fit. Philips type could do the work as well. All screws here are the same length, which makes reassembly easier. With a thin plastic pry tool, release the clips. This corner is a convenient starting point. Here is the layout with the bottom cover removed. The cooling uses two fans and a dense fin stack, plus multiple heat pipes spanning the CPU and GPU area. We also have two slots for user replaceable memory. The platform supports dual channel DDR5 up to 32 gigabytes. Core 7 processors can run up to 5600 mega transfers per second, while Core 5 models go up to 5200. Some units with 13th gen chips use DDR4 at 3200 instead. Here's the wireless card with Bluetooth. Our unit carries a MediaTek MT7921 module, Wi-Fi 6AX with Bluetooth 5.2, and it's replaceable. Two M2 slots for NVMe solid state drives. They take 2280 devices and run on PCI Express 4. Note that there are some configurations which support only a single SSD. The battery is a lithium polymer pack rated at 57 watt hours and 15.4 volts. Some versions of this laptop ship with a larger 76 watt hour unit. The battery isn't screwed down, it's held in place with adhesive and alignment pegs. Don't forget to visit and see our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. Lift the tape to reveal the battery connector and unplug it with a non-metal tool before working further. You can check the result of our battery life test on laptopmedia.com, the link is below the video.
Here's how to remove the memory from slot 1. It's covered by an EMI shield that acts as a protective foil. Unscrew the retention screw to take out the SSD. Both M2 slots sit away from the processor with good free space for airflow. There's no factory thermal pad here. This drive also uses a shielding tape similar to the memory. A look at the touchpad assembly from underneath. The MediaTek MT7921 wireless card is secured by this single screw and slides out of the M2 E key slot if you ever need an upgrade. Of course, if you're swapping it, be sure to disconnect its antenna cables. Both antenna leads are active during operation to keep throughput and stability high, especially when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are used at the same time. The display hinges are firmly anchored to reinforced brackets. The finned heatsink sits ahead of the two fans, fed by several copper heat pipes. One last wide look at the internals before we close up. And of course, Here's a 360 degree spin of the laptop. Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you're liking the video, feel free to use this break to hit the subscribe button. That wraps up the disassembly and upgrade tour of the Acer Nitro V15AN V15-52. For thermal behavior under load, display calibration data, battery life tests, and build quality analysis, check our in-depth review on laptopmedia.com, link below.